Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play night. today with a game called Ebony Spire Heresy. Now if you've been watching this channel for some time you may know that this is a game made by a friend of mine. He is working at Bearded Giant Games, he is the bearded giant in the, uh, the game studio, he, he's an indie dev, he's the only person working there. And a while ago he made a game called Ebony Spire Heresy and now he has made an anniversary update to the game that improves a lot of things, changes the graphics, it does quite a couple of things. So I told myself, okay, I'm gonna make another show about the game. So I'm shilling for, for him for this game. So if you ever want to accuse me for being a shill, this is your perfect opportunity to do so because that is what I'm doing. I make no illusions to myself or to anyone else. I, I'm making the show because my friend made a game and I want people to know that my friend made a game. Got it? Okay, so let's get going. In terms of options, uh, you can turn on scan lines, which uh, will probably make the video kind of harder. I think it made the black and white in the last version. It had some weird effect. Let's disable that. Let's turn on infinite mode if you want to never stop playing it. Uh, there is no option for uh, changing controls. You're going to have to go into a Lua file for that. Not, not really what you'd expect from a game made in 2017 and with an anniversary update. Just saying, buddy. <laughs> Just saying. One day you're gonna have to add that screen to change the controls. Okay, so let's go. Also, you can't run it. I, I don't... I'm not sure if you can actually run it in full screen. I, I, I think I may have gotten it to run in full screen the last time, maybe? I don't remember. But there's no uh, direct full screen option. So let's go into the... Uh, well, I'm not going to go into high scores because I've been dead mostly since I started playing. But let's go into it with new game. And I'm going to start as a scroll mage. A scroll mage that starts with a scroll of discharge. Just saying. J just highlighting the scroll of discharge there. Because uh, it's a scroll of summon meteor. It's not Discharge, it's Summon Meteor. But you do get a Spellbook of Ember there, which is something useful. So, as you may see, the walls look a bit better. They uh, have more texture. They they have a bit more life to them. And also because I, um, I start with no weapons, I can break these crates. You may see enemies around uh, throwing health potions. They still have the habit of throwing things that may help me at me. Which is nice of them. Still can use these um, these bookcases, they're just there for decoration. I don't think there's a hidden passage there, but now, as you may see in the lower portion, there's a compass. You still can move on, on this map, though. Now, think of it. I think the game would be easier to play on this map if you could move on it, but yeah, that's, that's a stylistic choice. So let's uh, start pillaging the... Oh, there's a key. Let's pick it up. You can move with the WSD keys and Q and E to turn, or you can use the arrow keys. Uh, keep in mind that the arrow keys do not really work all that well in um, in the main menu because it, changing settings doesn't it uses the strafe keys, not the turn keys, and that can be a bit confusing. Also, there's mouse support now. Uh, mouse support in the sense that you have buttons down here. You can turn, you can move, but you can strafe. So it's. It's not as elegant as the um, the Dungeon Master slash uh, uh, Eye of the Beholder, you know, thing with the uh, the arrows. That would have been a bit better, maybe in the third year anniversary, who knows. Also, um, you can actually select anything with the mouse in the menu, in the inventory, which is kind of annoying. It, it, it's actually not fully playable with the mouse, which may be an impediment to some people. I know that uh, that was the case with, uh, with The Legend of Grimrock. Well, some people asked for mouse support because they just couldn't use a keyboard. But it still works, like, somewhat well enough. Uh, well, unless you want to use the inventory. Well, technically you can use it because you can press equip, you can press uh, all the directions. Now the scroll, if the scroll wheel was bound to scroll through the inventory, then yeah, yeah, that'll work. So, get the scroll wheel bound to moving items in the inventory up and down, and then it will be fully mouse playable in the inventory as well. Because you can just press equip and throw, those are your only two options in this game. 
Uh, let's actually not, not equip that meteor uh, thing because we may blow ourselves up. Let's go forward. And um, a side note, um, in the inventory, space is the action key to equip stuff. It's not the action key to open the door. It's O. Oh, it's just giving you some tips for improving the user experience. So if you ever have the chance. Oh, and there's our first victim. Uh, first NPC. Now, when when I first played this game, the that and that character that was an actual NPC because it never hurt you. Now they're assholes. Now they're throwing. It tried to turn me into something. I don't know what exactly, but it tried to. So let's use this ember spell, which I'm gonna have to go into the inventory and equip constantly to use, instead of having it like equipped as a secondary. What I'm saying is, you know how Might and Magic had an attack and a use spell and a quick spell feature? Just saying it. It saves on time if you don't have to go into the inventory and access a spell book. Always just have it as a quick spell. Or if you have multiple scrolls of the same value, make those as a succession of uh, items used in uh, casting a quick spell keeps throwing keys at me. Let's go through here. Actually, I think this is where I came out of. Almost under the store again. Oh, I just closed the door. Oh, yeah, it did close. I was just in it when it closed, so it looked like it wasn't there. I think these guys are throwing keys around. It's a key party. Oh, there she is. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna... I'm go mm, nah, I'm not gonna kill her with a meteor. That would be mean of me. There's one more key. You're gonna use the keys to open lots of... Oh, there's one more key. Also, you do have... Um, didn't get to it yet. Next time I get to pick up something. There have been some... Ooh, somebody threw a dagger. I'm gonna take that dagger and murder him with it. So, when you get to this point, you can pick up with the mouse. And it actually shows you the stuff you have lying around. So you don't need to pick up everything. So I'm gonna pick up the first thing. Because it's... You know, it's the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna equip the dagger now. And I'm gonna murder this uh, cultist lady with it. Okay, she has a lot of hit points. What? Why don't... Then I kill it. Well, I think I may be attacking the, uh, the potion instead. Okay, this is bad. Um, spell book? Okay, that helped. And spell book. Oh, she moved. Crafty, crafty little enemy. Okay, I've only got one HP left, so I'm uh, I'm gonna summon a meteor and hope it kills everybody. Yeah, it did. Saved by meteor. I think it killed the lights as well. Let's pick up the polymorph potion. Why am I not dealing damage? Unequip. Okay, let's let's scroll through these. Actually, exit inventory, inventory. A short dagger popular among the devout. Damage seven, multiplayer arcane value might one. Oh wait, I thought it was might. What a might? Does this thing have statistics now? Actually, I think it did at one point. So why am I not dealing damage with the dagger? Because it's it's not a throwing dagger that only does damage if it's thrown. So why does it not work? Yeah, that's weird. I'm on the beta branch. In case uh, you're wondering, it's the latest. Oh god damn it! I died. Okay. Let's uh, let's try this again. This time with the nightshade. So I can bust. I still don't have anything whipped. Small handgun. Mm, yeah, l l let's equip the handgun and... Okay, I can actually equip the handgun. The handgun would work as a spell, like you can have it equipped as... What I'm saying is, it, it gets fiddly to keep going back into the menu to use stuff. It's, it's, it's old school in the bad sense of old school. I'm gonna throw the, the dagger in that guy's face. Oh, he left me a ring. Aww. That's very nice of him, and I... 
And I killed him. They say if you love it, you should put a ring on it. Well, he put a ring on me. And I killed him for it. Just like my ex-wife. I don't have an ex-wife, though, so the joke doesn't work. Any secrets here? No, no secrets. I'm not, actually not sure if there are secrets around here in, in the game in general. Uh, short dagger. Let's see if this short dagger does uh, damage or maybe it was something that well, I should have to want to equip this first. Devout. Okay, let's see if it works this time. So the devout dagger doesn't do damage. Wow, that that was a neat alliteration there that I did by accident. <laughs> oh, so th th I guess this is just for throwing. Okay, unequip it. Uh, which is the... Look at this, equip it. And... Bash. Bash them. Open. Hello! Okay, let's throw the dagger. I did seven damage, so it's something. Uh, Ring of Darkness of Abating, okay. Can summon some darkness there, I see. Okay, okay. Let's let's see what we can pick up. Ring of darkness abating. Uh, yeah, that's the ring that I could use to uh, keep darkness away. Yeah, that's actually a good thing. No more darkness. No more darkness. Did you just try to... She tried to polymorph... Okay. I actually don't have any polymorph portions on this character, so I can't use it. I'm just gonna stab you. Hope that's okay. He um he healed me. He threw a potion at me that healed me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and just shoot him instead. See that that's that's nice. Okay, here are the stairs, so let's go and climb. Now usable with a mouse. Ooh, ooh, something there, something there. Iron gauntlet. What does an iron gauntlet do? I think it's for punching. Increases that's that's armor actually. So let's 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 plop that in. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you can click forward because forward in the menu scrolls through the okay, so you, my bad. You can click through the menu. It would just be faster with the mouse wheel. Just saying. <laughs> Should probably uh, give it a bit more of a look over before I started doing the show. But I died like five times because of the... Um, well, uh, the enemies that... I accidentally polymorphed somebody into a real high level enemy and it just murdered me. Oh, he tried to set me on fire. So I'm gonna... Fire you! Haha, uh -huh. okay, that didn't work. And let's, let's throw this at him. Wow, he... Has nine hit points left. Yeah, take that. Take that. You Zoidborg worshipping priest person. And I got their staff. And I got... Ooh, golly. That's a nice... Oh, that restores life each turn. So we're going to unequip this. And put that on. Yeah. Super used by Diaper Summon. Uh, actually, when I when I do use this, it usually summons somebody that will uh, try to kill me. Because... Oh, oh, potion, potion, potion. Potion of health. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And there's one more gauntlet there, I think. Yeah, just another gauntlet. Opening... Am I going in certain? No, that's that's teleport. And Zoidberg is hiding here. Oh, there's oh. Open summon meteor. That's a good one. Plus sixteen. Oh, even better. Even better. Even a bigger X. Okay, so I think we're ready to go into the. Uh, I think the next level is the town or something. Magic missile. Press zero to access it. I think I'm in this zero. Oh, I, oh. 
it's O, not zero. Pirate picked up an Iron Sword Power plus 21. Well, that's that's nice of the pirate to do. And they threw it at me. But it, they were too far away to actually hit me. Can I pick up the lantern? No, I cannot pick up the lantern. Oh, and there's a, the slimes again. Okay, you're getting the shot in the face. Who keeps throwing stuff at me? Did, well, I'm gonna keep it now, so you know that's not gonna be a good thing for you. Well, that heals me. But does this do anything? No, that's just... Okay, I'm gonna take the healing. Okay, I can progress because there's a thing. Can I shoot past the thing? No, and I just recoiled and murdered myself almost. Yeah, that was probably not the, the best move. And the history of moves that has ever been made. Oh, potion, potion, potion. Uh, healthy again. Well, not super healthy. Just throw a rock at me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna magic missile you. Yeah, take that. Oh, it's a slime. It's a slime. Armor. Curse of the little armor. Yep. Yeah. The curse of the armor was supposed to be a, a bad thing, but the last time I played the game on the initial version, this one was actually making me immortal for some reason. I, nobody could. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. You can see why it's, why it's cursed. I think there was a bug in the, the previous version where sometimes the, um, the self damage effect would just not take and. It gave me a crazy amount of armor and I could not be killed, like, by anything. Just throw that thing at me again. Okay, so these guys do... Well, if they throw things that have 24 damage, yeah, it's safe to bet that, they'll, that they're gonna do over 20 damage and kill me in one shot. So that was, in retrospect, a bad idea. Um, escape. Okay, let's let, let's play with the. Uh, actually, I think I can load a save run. Uh, which one am I? When did I save? Actually, that's a better question. And this is the same uh, save from earlier, but I wait. Where's the map? Okay. Oh, ooh, the map rotates with you, so it's it's gonna be a bit confusing. There is no pleasing me, I know it. Okay, let's go in. Oh, I can actually see the little guys in the map. There's a lot... Of, okay, I'm... Gonna summon Meteor on your faces and hope you all go away. I hit myself. I hurt myself today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vanish. Aha! Oh, there's... Aren't you from Street Fighter 4? That escape prisoner that was actually a clone made by Bison as his new body or something. Forget his name. Cory? Oh, he dodged. That was very dodgy of him. Aha, I'm at the docks now. <laughs> Let's pick up the polymorph potion and hope it doesn't... See, this is where I died a second ago. Oh, 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 oh. Potion, 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 potion of healing. Ah, that's the stuff. Stop throwing things at me. Pistol. Okay, those guys have a potion of fire something at their feet, so hopefully it'll go off or something. They didn't thought I had... Uh, Wait, did I, did I throw magic missile at them? I don't think magic missile works over water. Yeah, um, I think it may see the water as like a wall where it, because I can't get past it, the spell can't get past it either. So I guess that's that's why it's doing that. So I'm gonna polymorph you, hopefully into something less. I used it on myself. Okay, I see what mistake I made there. I used it on myself. Um, 
Okay, kill the convict for lots of damage. Okay, this one does damage of one, multiplier of one. And the small handgun does one, one. Okay, that, that was enough. I actually hit him for 15, wait a minute. Damage one multiplier. I'm not sure how statistics work here. Oh, that can backfire, yeah. This one doesn't backfire. Weight five, I think, so it may be weight related. Not sure. Not sure how it properly actually works. So now that you have in front of me. Uh-huh. Mr. Pirate. For some reason I kept thinking that that um, sword in their hands was a violin or something. Leather armor. Yes, equip the leather armor. Leather armor is good. And that thing is probably still healing me. More armor. Plus four actually this time. Uh, let's see, equip this one and equip that one. Nah. Oh, it's the thief. So it attacked me for zero damage because it probably deals... Oh, I dealt 30 damage to it. Nice. And I still keep hoping that I can go in, in doors in there, but no. Oh, it's a slam again. Take the Ooh, slime made a... Uh... Oh, golly. That's a big bonus. Like, that's a jump. That is... Who, oh, it doesn't heal me up to that point because it, it, it does increase the max life, not the current life. Which is in retrospect a good thing. Because if I remove it, I won't die. Potion of health, that should be a useful potion of health. Drink it. Pick up. Everything's empty. Okay, let's let's go in there. Right. Where are we now? We're at the dungeon of level two. Uh, he just summoned something. Well, I'm gonna shoot you, Zoidberg, and he didn't die yet. They attack me for two damage. I um, probably should probably just shoot them instead of constantly trying to run. And I'm gonna throw it at them. Actually, throw this at them. Uh huh. How uh, do you like that? I think you like that actually. Shoot. I think I mentioned that the game's on Steam, right? It's available for just seven euros. I'm not sure if it's gonna be on sale for the big Steam uh, holiday sale that's up in like a week. Oh, to a potion of darkness. I think I just went in circles. Yeah, yeah, just went in circles. I. I got confused and hurt myself. Let's fire. Now it's got a big range in his uh, his throwing. I could just probably like heal myself completely by moving in a circle, like just doing this. Well, I have to do this ten times to get one point of health. But if I do it fast enough. Actually, if I do it fast enough, I, it doesn't actually move, so it's it's got measures uh, built into it to prevent cheesing at this level. Touché. I'm gonna have to cheese it somehow, uh, somewhere, somewhere else. Is that a hat? Does the box have a hat? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw stuff at him. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, he threw the thing back. Okay, uh, uh-huh. No, cannot pick up the hat. It was just for decoration. Spellbook of healing. Okay, let's get. Let's do this. Yeah. And uh, wait, there is no mana in the game, is it? Is there? So I can just use this constantly. I have no downsides to constantly using this book, do I? Am I gonna explode at one point? 
Because this, this is like free health. There is no limit. Like, this, this is ridiculous. That, that's, that's easy mode. That's like the silver, silver sapling in Ultima Underworld. Throw. Oh, you wanna, you wanna fight? Uh huh. Like that. Do I even need to pick up that health? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the health portion. Of course I am. Who knows when it's gonna come in handy. Uh, map again. Even with the map, I'm still a bit confused about where I am and where I'm supposed to go. More health potion. There's a pirate. Yeah, shiver my timber and blow the man. Well, actually, they're all pirates, aren't they? Oh, that was just a thug. The other ones were pirates. What's uh, what's this do? Eh, I earn X plus seven this. That's baby. So that's a lot of health potions, but I I got healing spells, so I don't need it. I don't need that. Already have that. Already have that. Body I could use that, I guess. I wanna teleport myself somewhere else. Okay, oh, oh. There's these people again. Another one! Wow, so these aren't really all that rare. Eh, pick it up as well. Punch him, punch him, punch him. So I'm basically immortal at this point. Like, they, they, those things don't look like violins on their, their heads. Okay, the... <laughs> should probably not have attacked both of the melee because they, they seem to be a bit, uh, kind of a bit really strong. So I'm gonna heal myself again with the, with the cheesing. At least make them perishable or something. So you can just do this all over and over and over and over and over and over again and never be uh Ooh, there's a bench. No, usually in the in Might and Magic 3 and 4 and 5, when you saw a bench like this, there usually is an invisible NPC on the bench that couldn't be drawn in the world because it was a really primitive game, but you could talk to them. What was this about here? Magic missile. Pick it up. I think I killed everybody in town. So I'm... I'm gonna go uh, here now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna have to actually find the... the stairs to the next level because I'm keep, I keep finding the same enemies because I'm at the same level as... one level two of the dungeon. Haven't progressed at all. Eh. Fire. Okay, I just shot myself a bit. A bit. Uh huh. Oh, it's, for a second there, I thought I opened a portal to hell by killing him. Pick up more healing. No, I don't need more healing. I can always use a healing potion to heal myself. Uh huh. Oh? Somebody killed themselves, I guess. Who keeps... How are you still alive? You, you keep casting Meteor and you're not dead. But I, uh... Actually, no. This isn't what I'm... I'm not looking for a portal. I'm looking for some stairs. Oh, there's a key. But I have keys. I don't think I have. Let's, let's actually pick up the key. And there's a thing there, so I'm going to kill it. Let's see, pistol doesn't backfire, it should be good. Okay, let's go. No, no, this way. Am I back where I started from? I think I may be back where I started from. Because the, um, yeah, I think I just went full circle. Yeah, I did. That's the, that's the door I was trying to open last time. Okay. Okay, map, 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 stop, stop, stop moving around map. Gonna have to keep facing one way to keep the direction of the map stable. So, uh, let me orient myself a bit. 
Okay, <laughs> I'm back where I started again. Nah. I'm just gonna use body disp don't I didn't pick up the body displacement one that I know I don't think I did. Well, I got lost, so there's that. There's that, absolutely. Uh, where is it? Okay, I'm just gonna hug a wall. Hopefully get where I need to get. Someday. Been there. I think I've... Oh, there it is, there it is. Finally. Yes. Oh, that, that took a lot of... Oh, hello, ladies. Nice to meet you. You look lovely. Here, have a... Have a... Have a knife? No, don't like the knife. Okay. Do you like a priest scepter? Think I invoked somebody. Hello. I don't think she minds that I... Amal to Vitality. Yes, yes I would please. That gives me plus plus plus... Three. Well that... That was not as good as I was hoping it to be. Open it. I keep expecting scrolls to fall out of these bookshelves when I hit them. Ooh, ooh, armor, armor. Now, is this gonna drop my health like the other one did, or is it gonna be the one that I uh, found that time and didn't actually uh, damage me at all? No, it it definitely drops my health. So let's unequip it. Inventory is full. Okay, let's see if I can... Yeah, I just picked up one of them. They should be uh, quite useful. Why are you pointing down? Aha. Uh -huh. Take that. I'm going to have to chuck some stuff. So throw this. Throw that. Keep the key. Throw that. Need that. Throw that. Other gauntlets, uh, I have iron ones, throw that, throw that. I'm gonna actually throw my, my small handgun because it's gonna kill me. I think it just fired there, so it was gonna kill me, no matter what I did. I'm gonna throw one of the health, um, the healing spell books as well. I think I just healed that wall. Yeah, I don't need two of these either. So they all activate once they... Uh, oh, there's there's a lizard people there. Uh, that... Hmm. Is there something with no texture in front of me? I think there may be something with no texture in front of me. I'm gonna use a pistol to shoot it. No, I... Hit the wooden box. Oh, I, is it the darkness? Is the darkness not rendering? Zero damage. <laughs> you can't do damage. I have too much life. <laughs> See, that's that's weird. There's something here. I, I think it may be darkness, or maybe the uh, the the ring did something. Possibly. Blessed Berserker Axe. What does the Berserker Axe do? And Blessed, it increases wielders both offensive and offensive skill. Nah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, the healing one. To keep strolling healing potions, I don't need any. Hello, Mr. Can't damage me because I have a lot of uh, armor. Going, going in a, to a fist fight with somebody that has metal. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Blessed leather armor. Ooh. Uh, good protection and nimble. Hmm. Arcane defense one, defense eight. This one has a lot better better statistics. So let's let's look with this and see if it was the steel part that was uh, making the uh, the uh, the lizards not able to damage me or if it was the uh, the armor part and 
Did I get lost again? I think I got lost again. And through here. Maybe. There's a key. There's an axe. There's more axes. Oh, there's actually much more down here. Nothing useful though. Come on, I need an enemy to, to punch. I know there's more people down here because they keep throwing things. Where are they? Oh, she's on the other side. Okay. I think I'm gonna go up. Yeah, she spins the ammo between her fingers. Yeah, I get it. Uh huh. I am immortal. Well, on this level, I am at least. Uh, should I go to the portal again or find stairs? Okay, I'm gonna go to the portal once and hopefully, uh. Well, now I'm in the forest. Is that a health potion? A uh, book of healing. Uh, yeah, sometimes this will happen. The uh, the top part will get frozen. <laughs> get it? Frozen? Okay, because you work on that frozen game until uh, the uh, the song uh, sort of drove him insane and he can't hear it anymore. Well, they deal zero damage to me, so I'm kind of immortal now. And they're even throwing health potions at me because they know they've lost. <laughs> uh, yeah, I keep throwing stuff at me. You can... Yeah, I think I won. I think I won the game. Actually, last time I won the... I got this for... Um, not exactly... Something did end, ended up killing me last time, but I don't remember exactly what, what, what it was. Well, let's go to the portal. See, what is that? They threw something... I think it's the anim... Is it the animation for throwing the health potion? Does it not have a, a sprite? Maybe? Who knows? Well, uh, again, the, the game's available on Steam. It's Ebony Spire Heresy. It's got an update that makes it look a lot nicer. Plays a bit better. And it is... Well... It's the fun, kind of quirky little dungeon crawler that uh, you will enjoy cheesing. And the lizard men sometimes generate a lack of a texture there. So lizard men throwing health potions is uh, is causing that issue. Can I pick it up actually? Yeah, it's it's a healing potion. Oh wait, it's it's a different color healing potion. It's an area of effect healing potion that. You don't have... So, there is an extra healing potion that you don't have graphics for. See? This is what happens when you don't test stuff properly. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, more lizards. Lizard, lizard. Snake lady, can you do... You can't do damage to me either. I wonder if level 4 is going to have tougher enemies. Because the lizards, they, they are not cutting it. And let's go this way. And let's go. Oh, I got confused again. Yeah, I was already here. Go forward then. Well, I'm going to be back with more play now, some more shows and more stuff uh, soon. Uh, make sure we check out the game. It's made by a friend of mine. He really likes making games, even built his own engine on top of Moai, I think. So, uh, take care. I'm gonna see if I can actually find the exit. Where is the exit? It's like a maze down here. Ooh, let's go to the portal. Oh my god, it's a little shop of horrors. And now it's dead. Goodbye, everybody.